The history of the Louisville Leopard Percussionist. In 1993, Diane was teaching at Kenya Elementary School in Louisville with the world's greatest principal, May Kennerly. She was searching for a bulletin board paper but found a closet full of instruments instead. She asked her class of second and third graders if they wanted to do a concert and they all said yes. So they practiced a lot, came up with a name and a logo, then had their first concert. Here's a sample of what they sounded like. <laughs> started playing gigs out in the community like at nursing homes and at the mall. Then they got bigger gigs like at U of L basketball games and for the governor of Kentucky. After a while they started playing at local and national music conventions. After we got to perform at the 1998 Percussive Art Society International Convention in Orlando, Florida, things really started to change for us. The Percussive Marketing Council even named 1999 as the year of the leopard. The Leopards have played shows all around Louisville and in Dayton, Indianapolis, twice in Chicago, Atlanta, Orlando, Washington, D.C., New York City, Tampa, Columbus, Kansas City, Cleveland, Nashville, Cincinnati, and twice in New Orleans. In 2003, after being based at King Elementary for 10 years, the Leopards changed from the fabulous Leopard Percussionist to the Louisville Leopard Percussionist. He became a community-based nonprofit organization so we could take members from all over our area. When we first started as a nonprofit, we didn't have any instruments. So Carlos Santana asked to meet with Diane and ended up paying for a bunch of equipment so we could get started again. We were back in business, learning tunes and playing gigs. In all of our years, we've been so fortunate to have had the opportunity to play with some awesome special guests. They are some of the world's greatest musicians of all time. They are composers, performers, teachers, Grammy winners, rock stars, and studio musicians. We are so honored they took the time to work with our groups and perform with us. Louis Belson, Ruben Alvarez, and Brad Dutz even composed songs especially for us. We have also had lots of musicians stop by our rehearsal space to meet us. They would play for us and we would play for them. Sometimes we would even play together. We learned so many cool things from all these amazing musicians. It was so fun to hear about their careers. They told us with lots of hard work, we could be professional musicians one day too. We even received a letter in the mail from Coretta Scott King after we played a reception for her in Louisville in 1998. Then in 2006, Diane got a call from HBO wanting to know if she had any talented kids in the group. They wanted to do a show about only one kid, but after meeting everyone, they realized that our group isn't just about one kid, so they did a whole show about all the leopards. The show is about how the leopards practiced a whole lot, then traveled to New York City to be the warm-up band for the Chick Corea Trio. You can still watch it on HBO. So many kids wanted to join the group, but there just wasn't enough room, so in 2009, we started two new groups. Leopard Light and Steel Leopard. Later in 2016, we added another group, our middle school ensemble. In February 2015, we noticed a bunch of people watching our Led Zeppelin video we posted a couple of months before. We soon found out that it was because Jimmy Page shared our video on his Facebook page. We went from about 6,000 views to over 5 million in about a week. All our members took turns doing interviews with news organizations from all around the world. Soon after, we were invited to play a TED Talk in Kansas and at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Right after our Zeppelin explosion, Prince came to Louisville to play some concerts with our former Leopard member, Hannah Ford Welton, on the drum set. Some of us got to attend the show. It was so cool seeing our Leopard on stage with Prince. Then, we noticed that we were getting lots of views on our Crazy Train video, and sure enough, Ozzy and Kelly Osbourne shared our video, and that went viral too. Right after that, we got a letter in the mail from Ozzy with a check of $10,000. A couple of years after that, we were invited to travel to Nashville to play Crazy Train for Ozzy, Jack, and Kelly, and we were included in an episode of Ozzy and Jack's World Detour. Ozzy and his family were so nice. We had a great time hanging out with them and were honored to be able to perform for such a powerful rock icon. Throughout the years, we've had some great leopard teachers. Many of them were leopards when they were little. 
We have been so fortunate that we've gotten to learn from so many great musicians. One of our favorite special teachers is Danny Markham. She stops by as much as she can when she's not on a tour with famous guys like Childish Gambino. Hundreds and hundreds of kids have participated in Leopard since 1993. We are the Louisville Leopard Percussionists. Ordinary kids transformed by an extraordinary musical experience since 1993. Remember what we sounded like in 1993? It sure has grown. <laughs>